dreamland. Yes, it's my journey to the dreamland called Sanskar Valley. I wandered and explored the pristine beauty of Zanskar. Each turn and twist in the valley revealed a different world to me. The culture and life of the Zanskari people mesmerized me. Let's explore the pristine beauty of Zanskar Valley in Zanskar Ki Lahir. I started my journey from Bangalore. After we reached Delhi, we visited some old monuments and then took a bus to Manali. Manali was buzzing. As the day was free, I wanted to do what I was longing for years, river rafting. Our guide, a seasoned river whisperer, briefed us on safety. The river awaited us, its current a mystery. Excitement bubbled within me. The adventure did not stop here. It was in another form called paragliding. As I ascended, the landscape unfolded beneath me. The hills stretched out like a crumpled green quilt dotted with tiny figures. The river winded its way through the valley, glinting in the sunlight. Wisps of clouds drifted by and I weaved through them like a bird navigating its own private highway. I felt like an artist, painting strokes of awe across the canvas of the sky. As dawn breaks, the crisp air touched my senses. I emerged from slumber, ready to embrace the day's potential. The first thing in mind was to meet our driver, Anchuk was known to my father on his last trip. He had agreed to join us for this adventure. He is a more experienced and calm guy. He informed us that he would pick us up from Jispa due to an ongoing feud between the Drivers Association of the state. We set out on our journey to Zanska. I was excited but Manali traffic was exhausting. The mountain was littered with shops and the dirty hands of so-called tourists were visible. Much to my relief, things started to improve after a few kilometers. Traffic became smooth, tourists became thin. I could feel nature, yet it was not raw. By this time, I had made a friend with my fellow traveller, Bhuvana, who would be with me for the rest of my journey. We enjoyed and got soaked with the first scenic view of the Himalayas on this route.
the big change came after i crossed the atal tunnel the landscape was completely changed and i was in a cold desert The landscape was so beautiful that my mouth hung open in utter amazement. We stopped for lunch at the confluence of the mesmerizing Chandra and Bhaga rivers. Further, it becomes Chenab, later merging with the mighty Indus. The confluence was so scenic that we could not stop from making our moves. Explanation do you have? What will you do? What will you do? What will you do? What will you do? My hotel is Sonam Daba. And this is Tandipul. It's a lot of food. We had lunch and continued our journey. I was on two journeys one leading to adventure and wonder and the other one leading to danger I didn't know whether they would collide or not I didn't know how I was going to face it yet the world before me was a beautiful filled with treacherous routes We reached Jispa camp by early evening. We were accommodated in the well-maintained Swiss tents. The fields beside our tent were ready for sowing potatoes. I was excited to learn that our tent was beside the beautiful Bhaga River. I walked to the bank of Bhaga River and I sat in utter amazement at the beauty of nature. It was a moment of magic. I wanted to spend my moments in this space and my dream was coming true. The air was different here. The air at home was heavy, but here it was light. It smelled wild, untamed. It was beautiful. I wandered and spent the evening at this campsite. The night sky was filled with glittering stars, which was much nearer to me than my home. I was dreaming of tomorrow's destination. Join me in the next episode where we'll be exploring the snow-filled Shinkala Pass and many more.